Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, I've stirred up the bugs <laughs> over here. Today, I am sitting by the strawberry patch. If you've been following along with our videos, you know it started off really, really good for us. And towards the end of the season, I couldn't keep the chipmunks or rabbit or deer or whatever whatever was in this little patch of strawberries out of it so today I am getting the strawberry bed ready for winter if you can see it's a little crazy we got some some stuff growing in here so I am going to get it all ready. There are runners that are just everywhere outside of this box. Not sure if you can see. Back here, they're trying to escape. So what I'm gonna do is clean this bed out. I'm going to get all these weeds out. I'm gonna trim the strawberries back. Got my handy dandy scissors and since it all looks like they're pretty much dying, um, so which means they're dormant, so it's gonna be okay for me to cut them back. If you didn't wanna cut them back and if you had them in rows, you could cover them either with pine needles, if you have an excess of pine needles, um, straw, you know, just make sure you don't get the kind with the seeds, you know, the hay with the seeds. Um, you could put wood shavings over them, pine shavings. Just know that you will need to add extra fertilizer in the spring because the wood shavings will suck a lot of nutrients out of your soil. So, but for now, what I think I'm gonna do is just clean it out and I'm gonna cut everything back. I am in a nice comfy spot. I'm sitting on a chair cushion. I got my gloves because when I planted some of these strawberries in the spring, I found a little family of snakes. And <laughs> a few weeks ago when I was tearing out some vegetables out of the garden, there was a itty bitty little baby snake and he was not happy. He, she, whatever it identified as, was not happy. It was probably this long and like skinnier than my pinky and it was all coiled up just like a ribbon snake or a milk snake something like that and it was coiled up and <laughs> i didn't see it and i took a step and that thing lunged at me and my kids are like mom a snake I'm like okay i'm like let's just leave it alone I'm like it's gonna eat all the bad things in our garden we love you snake please stay in my garden so i don't know if they like strawberries so I'm gonna watch my fingers. So I will show you a little bit about how I'm gonna trim these back and show you the final product. <laughs> Birds are crazy. I'm sitting right on the edge. This is where our raspberries are. You can see. Which I don't even, it looks like they're growing. Does that not look like raspberries are gonna be growing? Or maybe these are blackberries. I don't know. We just discovered that we have blackberries along this row with the raspberries. So it could be blackberries, I don't know. But I'm gonna get to work and show you how it goes. The strawberry bed is cleaned out. There were no snakes, only one big ass tree frog. Chris was helping me 
pull up the plants and I just I just felt this wet glide across my foot. I probably screamed like a little girl and I could see this big giant tree frog literally like bigger than my fist just hopping through the brush. I will take frogs over snakes but now that it's cleaned out there are so many spiders in there. I guess that's good. You got bugs living in your soil. Let me show you how it looks now. <laughs> this is my little setup. You can see all the old plants over there. My little cushion. And I just trimmed them to maybe two to three inches. Look, here comes the girls. Just about two to three inches. Now the chickens are gonna come. Where were they when I was trying to dig up roots out of the ground? So now my strawberry bed is all ready for strawberries next year. We are going to figure out a way to protect it. Chris has already talked about building a screen, you know, with a little top that opens to get to the strawberries. We don't know what the best way to do this is. If we should fence in the whole garden, we don't know. That's something we have to figure out. But for now, the strawberry bed is done and I'm curious to see how it will do because like I said, I had strawberries planted in my raised beds last year and I didn't know anything. I didn't pull anything out of the garden last year. I just, let it go until the spring and then I just pulled everything up. Well, you know, when the spring, I noticed my strawberries still had green leaves, which is when I replanted them over here in the little four by four bed, which just got taken over. I will never, I promise, I will never let my strawberry bed look like that again because it was a mess. And I shouldn't have been scared to stick my hand in the leaves, but I was. I promise I will never let it get that bad ever again. Well, thanks for coming along on this journey, cleaning out my strawberry bed and getting it ready for spring and hopefully a successful crop of strawberries that does not get eaten next year. We will see you guys on the next video.